Hey everyone, it's Matt Crafter 360 here with another LEGO unboxing video. So in this video, I'm going to be opening up LEGO Minecraft set 21159 The Pillager Outpost with 303 pieces. So, if you take a look at the top of the box, we can see that it comes with a sheep, two pillagers, a knight character, and a new model for the Iron Golem, which is which has appeared before in LEGO form. Anyways, take a look at the back of the box. Here you can see that you can rearrange the different parts of the set, which is pretty cool. Just a little crafting bench area, pumpkin scarecrows for target practice, and then a cage in which you can trap the iron golem inside and then proceed to blow it up. And then just some action going on here, what the set will look like when it's finished. Anyways, I'm out of breath there. Let's get to opening it. Got my safety scissors here which I'm sure you've seen before. And then, let's... All right, got one tape, and let's get the other one. All right. Let's take a look, shall we? Here you can see we have bag one. Hmm, the box over here, actually. The instructions. Bag three, and bag two, and uh, that's it. All right then, let's uh, just clear out the area. Put the instructions over here, and let's get building. <laughs> everyone this is the pillager outpost set 21159 let's take a look at all the things we have on the set here so let's just take off all the figures first let's move them back here okay so first thing i want to point out is the pumpkin scarecrow so the arms are slightly separated as you can tell but it's fine it's supposed to be like fences anyway so fences in minecraft work so it works. it's perfectly fine. And then, um, oh yeah, one thing you can do with each and every one of the pieces is, um, you take these little bits of grass off, and, oh, I didn't mean to do that. And, um, you can separate them. You can rearrange them. You can make this one go here. You can make it go here. You can go here. You could just swap them. You can do whatever you like with this set, honestly. So, um, anyways... They're made of pumpkins, obviously, and yellow wool, and fences, and yada yada yada. That's that. This is the little crafting area that you can find in some of the places. And there's also another pumpkin here. It's a nice little tree here that, that um, goes into the thing, so good job on that. Um, the tent is very nice, too. And, um, yeah. And then here's the little main part of the set, so... There's a TNT here, and as you can see, the iron golem is trapped inside. How do we get him out, you ask? Well, just oh, that wasn't as um, that wasn't as hy that wasn't as a uh, hyped up as I wanted it to be, but whatever. Uh, anyway, yeah, you can use the TNT, you blow up this part, and then you can take the iron golem out. So there's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, nothing too exciting. There's a torch here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also a flower too. Um, again, TNT doesn't work as well as I thought it would, but so works fine. Just I think you have to hit it a little harder. Um, no, nah, so it doesn't work well. Whatever. All right. I'm stuck. Okay. Anyways, let's take a look at all the minifigures now we have in the set. So uh, let me just move the grass bits aside. First, we have the sheep. Arguably the best minifigure, in my opinion. Probably the most detailed. I'm just kidding. But, yeah. 
Here we have a sheep, just your regular normal Lego Minecraft sheep. Didn't come with a tan block though, so like you can take this part off, obviously, but didn't come with a tan one that you can make it look cheered, but honestly, it doesn't matter. There's no scissors or anything anyway in this set. Here is the knight character that comes in the set. It has a there's a shield and an iron axe too, which is very interesting. Um it has back printing, which is rare for like a Minecraft figure, so I'm like that's cool. Um the face is the gold printing on the face is very shiny. I like that. Um shield him on the torso. Yeah, it looks good. Um here are the two pillagers that come in the set. This one I made like he's reloading his crossbow or whatever. Okay, so the crossbow piece is new. They the it's um exclusive to this set and then one other set, which I don't know if I'll be able to do a review on that one. I don't have it yet. But yeah, the crossbow looks really cool. The handle's on the bottom, so you attach it and then they can just pretend like he's shooting or something. And then Iron Gone comes in and punches him. <laughs> and they got a little story here. That's for another stop motion, though. And then, um, yeah, they obviously use the villager faces or heads, but they're gray for the pillagers. And yeah. And then Iron Golem. So this is the most interesting one, I would say, because Lego has already had an Iron Golem figure in the past. Um, right here. Um, mine's missing a leg, but... This is the old Iron Golem figure from the Iron Golem set and the Village set. Um, so, the detail on the face is very basic. This one is superior than the face printing. Um, there's not as much freedom of movement for this one. The arms just move back and forth. Same with the legs. Legs move back and forth too, but the arms, you can move them all around. You can, you can do whatever you want with them. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but... This one did have a bit of a curve to the chest area, so I would say this one is more accurate in terms of that. And, um, yeah. Iron Golems, everyone. Okay, so, yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.